Yo, what's good with your boys, man? It's your boys, Flashy, and welcome back to my second week on Keyboard and Mouse. I've documented over three weeks so far, and I am now going to be uploading my second week. So in this video, you're going to be seeing improvements in my fighting ability and also my mechanics when I'm free building and when I'm going for clips. I'm obviously still in my early stages of Keyboard and Mouse, so I'm not the best. And to all the new viewers, I'm not switching from controller to keyboard and mouse. I'm actually becoming a hybrid. So I'm just learning keyboard and mouse and I want to master it so I can be as good on keyboard as I am on controller or maybe even better on KBM. So this video is first going to be the second week progress that I've made. And then after that, I'm going to be talking about some tips on how I improved so fast and way faster than the average person learning keyboard and mouse. And a lot of people ask me what map I use to 1v1. It's my own map right here, as you guys can see on the screen. It has no clouds, only fighting loot, and it's customized and optimized in UEFN to have absolute zero delay. So if you guys would like to reduce your ping and your input delay, you can come to the map. You can see the code on the screen. You can just try it out and see for yourself. But I play this map every day on both controller and keyboard mouse to master my mechanics. And if you guys go ahead to enjoy today's video, make sure you guys hit the like, subscribe with notifications turned on. And it's very important that you guys turn the notice on because I'm going to be uploading these videos weekly. And if you guys don't want to miss the progress, you have to put the notice on. And if you guys would like to support me even further, it will mean a lot if you use my credit code, Yo Splashy. If I'm able to get a thousand supporters, I'm going to give away 20 battle passes on my main channel before next season. But yeah, let's get into the video. So we're on day eight and on day eight, I was trying to do this retake that I learned on controller back in like chapter two, but it's very clean. And as you guys can see, I'm just trying to do it cleanly. And I was practicing this over an hour in creative, just doing this on retake. And it was very, very difficult to do, but I was able to do it finally after an hour of trying. Bro, oh, you're playing with the vibe? Probably on 800. So on day nine, I'm trying to do a quad edit. Now I did one in the first week, but that was on accident. But here I'm just trying to do it and I was able to do it very cleanly. Continuing day nine, I was trying to do the retake that I did on day eight, but add a triple edit to that retake to make it more complete. And this is something I practiced over an hour and I was able to hit it finally. And it looks extremely clean for me. Just for day nine, it's actually impressive. Continuing day nine, I was playing a lot of box fight PVP and I realized that I'm not that good at fighting on KBM mouse, so I decided to focus on this a lot more. Now on day 10, I started playing Martos Realistics, and this is where my mechanics and aim started improving a lot. And me and this guy decided to box fight and I actually pieced him up. So 
on day 11 I decided to do a lot of 1v1s Yeah, I think the Brudel sucks to that Oh my god Oh, this game is fucking Oh, wow, that's beautiful, mate During this day, I realized that I played on very low sense, so I decided to change my sensitivity and I became way faster. Now we're on day 11 right here and my mechanics and peace just became way better. On day 11, I decided to play on uh, the box fight PvP that Mortos has. On day 13 and 14, I took a break because if you guys are trying to learn something, you need a break just for the muscle memories to, you know, settle in. That's why I took a break these two days and these two days I decided to watch FNCS. So I'm going to give you guys the best advice probably that no one has ever said on YouTube. I'm not even going to lie. I've never heard anybody give this advice. But when you're learning something and you want to improve in something, you need to do more quality hours than quantity hours. And for example, if you guys go to the gym, for example, you don't go to the gym every day for for six hours you know going to the gym for six hours is gonna worsen your results than if you go maybe two or one hour and give quality work at the gym and the same goes for fortnite if you play more than two hours a day and give quality practice you're gonna get worse and not improve as fast so if you guys aren't as good as you think you should be probably because you played the game way too much and you're just burning out and you will never see improvement because your muscle memory just gets burnt out the more you play so what i've been doing every day i've literally had days where i play 40 minutes an hour max is two hours i don't play more than two hours every day because i want to get as good as i can as fast as i can so that's my number one advice if you guys would like another advice make sure you guys subscribe and notifications turned on because i'm going to give it in my next video and don't forget boys use my code yo splashy if you guys would like to support me even further and i'll see you guys on my next one peace out